What's up, guys? Here we are, day 60. It's a, <laughs> I'm officially two-thirds of the way through this 90-day journey. Today is day 60 here at my home in Italy, in the mountains of northern Italy. And, uh, you know, I was going to make a video for you today, um, but I forgot. I forgot. I was actually at a really cool place I think you would have enjoyed. I was at an open-air market, and uh, in fact, I think it was like maybe two hours ago, I posted some uh, meats I bought. I bought a bunch of meat. I bought some uh, salami, like homemade salami, guys. And it's not like, you know, if you guys ever get like a imported Italian salami in the food store in the States, um, you know, like a, a normal little piece of it, like not much bigger than a hot dog is like 12 bucks, 14 bucks, right? Guys, did you see the size? If you didn't see, look below on my page. The salami I got, I swear to God, I don't even know what it weighed. It was the biggest thing ever. It was like 16 bucks, euros. But um, really, really pretty cool. Yo, Mario, what's up, Mario? What's up, Phil? Tyler? And so, uh, what's up, Todd? You back from Scotland, man? And uh, yeah, so anyway, long story short, I got all this great meat. I got the, the and people were asking me, like, what is this Slinziga? Well, it's like a dried beef. So it's like air-dried beef. It's marinated in... Um, the light's weird. It's getting dark. It's marinated in like a wine and different spices and all. And then they just hang it and they dry it. So that thing in the middle of my picture below is basically just a piece of beef, a slab of meat. But you cut it in these little thin strips. My God, it's fantastic. And I got those little sausages and stuff like that. So um, they had a lot of other great stuff too. They had a like, like fried donuts, like this fried pasta type dessert. Um, all stuff I obviously couldn't, I couldn't buy or couldn't eat, but the kids liked it. So like all those big open things of candy, fresh fruit and all that stuff. So really pretty cool. Um, I wish I could have taken a video, but to be completely honest, I just forgot. I would have loved to show you that. Actually, I'm here all summer, so of course they're going to have more markets and um, I'll show you what it's like over here. But I was pretty excited to find that, you know what I mean? Especially the salami because eating a low-carb diet, um, you don't want your protein to be too high too if you're following like a keto-ish type diet. So I, I always look for meats that are high in fat, like salami, like sausage, like a nice ribeye steak, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, and that, that fit the bill. You know, not the, not the slinziga, not the one in the middle, but like the salami especially. It, again, if you guys didn't see it, look down on my page after we're done here. It's really amazing. Um, what else can I tell you? Joined the gym uh, this morning, my local gym here in Italy. I um, worked out today, did a nice upper body workout. And uh, other than that, just walked around, tooled around the town came back and uh, made my calls for work, you know, did a bunch of calls this afternoon. Um, I did a fast, you know, I, I guys mentioned, I mentioned to you guys like two weeks ago doing this new program <clears throat> where these five strategies on burning fat. One of them is to fast for 24 hours at least once a week. And I've been doing that. I've been doing that for about three weeks. And I got to say, I, I think it's definitely working. I, I see some, uh, some results with that, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I stopped eating last night at dinner at eight o'clock. I just had dinner here at eight o'clock. I think it's about nine now. The sun's going down. But anyway, uh, and I felt great, man. I just, you know, drank a lot of water, had a lot of black coffee, went to a few different uh, cafes and uh, did my thing. What's up, Veronica? Lauren? Yeah, Spain. Yeah, it's very similar, man. This, this is all mountains, mountainous up here. You can't really see from here. This is the back, back of my house. But um, it's cool, man. It's like another world, honestly. It's like it's like a whole other world. It's, it's pretty badass. Are you there making a movie? <laughs> I should, right? I should make a freaking movie, man. No, I'm just hanging out, man. This is my second home. Um, here for the summer, getting married July 20th. So we came a month early, of course, today's June 20th, got here two days ago, have some plans, preparations to make, you know, for the wedding. And then I have my whole family flying in, uh, my brother and my sister and their, you know, spouses, children, uh, my uncles and aunts, um, some of them anyway, my parents, of course, a bunch of friends. So no, so it's going to be great. They're going to be getting here in about a month. Uh, they're going to be staying anywhere between a week and uh, two to three weeks, uh, depending on how long they can stay. But yeah, and then I come back uh, late August and I go right to Vegas for a conference for the gel uh, and the keto product. So anyway, other than that, man, it's uh, going pretty good. Yeah, I'll see you in Vegas, Veronica. I can't wait for that. I fly right from here, right from Milan to Vegas. So it's going to be cool. But that's two months away and I'm planning on making a whole lot of videos here. Um, sticking to my program, of course, and showing you guys the results. Tomorrow is 60 days. So true to fashion. I'm going to take my before and after pictures. Of course, I did the before um, at when I started, right, day one. And I, at 30 days, I did the before and after for the 30-day journey, or 30 days into the 90-day journey, I should say. And then um, tomorrow is 60. So today is wrapping up my 60 days. Tomorrow, I'll do some pictures, uh, weigh in, check my weight, which I don't do all that often. Um, and, do, and, and on the video, of course, uh, true to form, lift up my uh, shirt and show you the progress of the the fat stomach that I started with. And, uh, yeah, I got to say there's progress, man. I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, 
But uh, if I could lift up my shirt 60 days ago and show you how fat and disgusting I was, I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, with the results I've seen so far. So I'm happy to show you guys tomorrow how far I've come, knowing I still have 30 more days and uh, really going to you know crank it up these next 30 days. Uh, going to be doing a lot of, of uh, longboarding. I have a longboard here. Ah, that's a cool video I could show you guys. So there's this trail. Like there's like, um, I don't know how to put it, at the base of the mountain, there's all these farmers, right? There's all these dairy farms and stuff. And they have these trails made for... Um, ski roller i don't know what they call it people who like they train uh cross-country skiing in the summer so like without the snow they put the blades um wheels on the blades and they go all around these trails and they're perfect for longboarding or skateboarding uh which is amazing right and i'm so happy to be able to do that because um after all my surgeries on my knees uh until about a year ago when i started the growth hormone the gel um i couldn't i couldn't do that right i mean i could do it but i just couldn't walk for a few days afterwards so now my knees are feeling great and i'm excited to really get out there and do a lot of uh longboarding because it's such a, dude, you're, you're going down these mountains, right? And then you come up to this little hill and there's like waterfalls and streams and deer over there. Oh my God, I, I can't wait to show you some of those videos. In fact, I'm going to do some cardio tomorrow. I'll definitely bring my phone and show you guys. It's it's literally like you're in another world because you are. <laughs> this ain't Jersey anymore, man. So anyway, uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow. I'll show you guys some things. I'll do some longboarding and show you the, the beautiful place I go. And uh, of course, do the before and after and all the other good stuff. And yeah. We're uh, two-thirds of the way there, guys. So thanks for tuning in once again. Hope you guys are having a great day. And as always, God bless you, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys.